Okay. Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoime, aka Massage Nerd, and today we have Scott, uh, Scott Kingsbury from orthoflexology.com. Welcome, Scott. Yeah, hey, yeah, how you doing yeah. today, Mr. Massage Nerd? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been in practice? And I uh, became a therapist about 11 years ago, and it was okay. actually from a, an intimidation of an old girlfriend. She wanted me to do more with my life. Oh. <laughs> Maybe a little too much information, yeah, but that's actually you know. how I got started in massage therapy. Okay. I was working as a waiter instead of uh, kissing rear ends. Now I'm working on them. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little different transition. Yep, there. exactly. With the elbows. No. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. All elbows and knees. Yep. <laughs> so what's your, what's your kind of specialties then? I'd say my specialty is reflexology. Okay. orthopedic therapy and soft tissue twisting so okay. reflexology is something that I teach as a course reflexology fundamentals one fundamentals two and then I combine orthopedic therapy soft tissue twisting and reflex zone therapy or reflexology into a system called orthoflexology okay so it's quite a fascinating uh, blend of modalities that uh, really can help eliminate pain patterns 100% in one treatment. And is it mostly working on the feet then, then, or other parts of the body mostly too? Because Okay, to give an example of yep. how it works, let's say a person comes in with low back pain for an example. Yep. You could open up a, your cell phone, put it on stopwatch, and in five minutes of working on the lumbar and sacral reflexes of both feet, yep. you could eliminate that back discomfort 100% in five minutes. That's one modality, reflexology, you can do that with. Now another example, a person walks in with a high right hip, a sacrum rotated left, an ilium rotated right on the right side, I'm sorry, il ilium rotated forward on the right and perhaps a leg length differential. And in six maneuvers, you can correct all of those anatomical imbalances. Oh. And many times that will reduce pain from anywhere from 50 to 80 to even 100%. Wow. <laughs> now, there's another modality which is quite new that I've only been practicing a year called soft tissue twisting. And Dr. William Fitzgerald was an ear, nose, and throat specialist. He lived from 1872 to 1942 and he was known as the founder of zone therapy, mm -hmm. which basically the zone lines are 10 longitudinal lines, five on the right, five on the left, the thumb and the big toe, second finger, second toe, all of the fingers and toes connect in zone lines. So with soft tissue twisting, you can actually take and bend those zone lines. Well, for example, you find a palpable tender point. It could be a tender point or a trigger point that could refer pain into another section of the body. And you can actually bend that zone line and you can turn off that palpable tenderness in two seconds, hold it for about anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds and that discomfort will be gone and it'll also reset the muscle length. Oh. And so by using the reflexology, the orthopedic therapy and the soft tissue twisting, you're pretty much not guaranteed, but a high percentage of guarantee that you can eliminate most people's dysfunction 100% in one treatment. It doesn't mean it'll be gone forever, but you can get them completely out of pain in one treatment. So everything starts in your soul, right? Yeah, it was with the feet, and no, no. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Now, um, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but everything they eat, they drink, they breathe, combined with stress, combined with gravity, mm -hmm. creates a, an acidic residue within their bloodstream. <clears throat> and those little, they're known as crystalline deposits, they get embedded in the some 7,200 nerve endings of each feet, or each foot, excuse me. And so, let's say you make all those anatomical corrections and they still have a little pain, well then some of that is associated with the blockages or imbalances that they have in the nerve endings in their feet. Mm -hmm. And so you can either start with the stretching or the muscle energy work, you can start with reflexology, you can start or end with any of these modalities, but I particularly like to address the anatomical landmarks first, turn off the soft tissue tender point second, and then address the feet last because the people don't have to get involved with that. Okay. And so it's any one or all of will be beneficial, but if you put it into a system, which I have orthoflexology, there's a greater degree of ability and greater degree of outcome in a positive fashion. Um, most people have never heard of orthoflexology. It's, it's something that's been developed since 2008. It's something that I developed seeing the need because with reflexology you can't realign anatomical landmarks. You can't reset muscle length with reflexology, but you can create an analgesic effect within the tissue. And interestingly enough, 
Dr. William Fitzgerald used to apply pressure to the fingertips or to the, um, the inside of the nose, the mucous membrane inside the nose, or maybe the toes, or maybe the roof of the mouth, and he could create an analgesic effect within four to seven minutes and, and pull teeth without the use of any what? anesthesia. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. We're just, in our culture now, we're so used to drugs all the time, you know, it's like, yeah. That, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people have a hard time finding this information believable. So today I'm going to try to demonstrate with live presentations how in just a few minutes you can uh, turn off discomfort anywhere in the body just using the zone lines. Okay. And that, that could be a tall order to fill, but that is what I'm endeavoring to do today. And I, I do that every day in my practice. Yeah. I've been self-employed for 11 years. I have a practice in Melbourne, Florida. Okay. And uh, this is where I gather all of my information in the pit, so to speak. When I'm working on a daily basis, this is where I gather my experience and I find out what works and what doesn't work. And do you work on other areas of the body? I mean, most of the feet, of course, but hands and ears and things like that too, or? Excellent question. Okay. I had uh, my accountant, um, okay. known him for many years. He had vertigo of all things. And he was actually very in, a, in an acute stage one day. So he came to hand me off my taxes. He leaned forward a little bit. He was in my office and he almost fell down. So I asked him to sit down. I palpated each fingertip. And the only thing of all 10 fingers, the only tender finger was his fourth finger on his left hand. Okay. And so I applied a immense amount of pressure where he's like, ow, ow, that really hurts. And I said, you'll be, you'll be okay. And for seven minutes, I held that pressure on his fourth finger. And in 30 seconds, his sinuses started to drain. And in seven minutes, his vertigo was 95% gone. Oh. And 24 hours later, he called me and left a message, told me he never went to the doctor. He never got any antibiotics. And his, his vertigo was completely gone. And he was very appreciative of that. So by applying pressure to the fingers, to the ears, to the feet. They all have similar anatomy in that every gland, organ, and part of the body corresponds either to the ear, the hand, or the foot. Okay. Yes. And do you incorporate, can you incorporate regular massage into the treatment too, so it's not just this, or, or is it better just these, these areas? Any one of these modalities, orthopedic therapy, soft tissue twisting or reflexology can be incorporated into a regular deep tissue or Swedish massage. Okay. I actually had to do five deep tissue massages on a, a few teenagers. I work with a timeshare resort and I realized how hard a work that is. Deep tissue work and so after doing these five massages I was so grateful that I don't do that as much anymore. Um, but the answer your, to your question is yes you can incorporate it with any modality out there really so okay. it's synergistic with any other modality. And today you're actually teaching a class on it too then? And, today uh, I'm yeah. teaching a class on reflexology fundamentals which takes all the basics of the seven relaxation techniques and the 11 or so different sections of the foot and we won't be teaching all that today but we're teaching reflexology fundamentals one today okay. at the FSMTA and then tomorrow we're teaching a little protocol on the orthoflexology which encompasses those three modalities that I pre okay. previously spoke and about. And you're starting to get into teaching a lot more of this too to get it out to the average therapist and stuff too? And, uh, yes sir. Yeah, I've yeah. been um, instructing reflexology since 2003 and I just started instructing, because I've been developing the therapy, I've just started instructing orthoflexology in 2008. Okay. And so it's, it's fairly new, a lot of people don't know about it yet, but um, I'm a continuing education provider for the NCB, TMB, and also yeah. the state of Florida. And I have uh, some opportunities to uh, do some with the AMTA, the American Massage yep. Therapy Association. And I've been working with the FSMTA chapters since 2008, and I've been to most of the chapters here in Florida. I put in an application to be able to come here today, and it just so happens that they saw value in what I teach, and so they um, invited or allowed me to come and be a part of this annual convention here. Okay, cool. And are, do you have any DVDs out yet, or are you going to be planning I, on that? I do or? have one DVD okay. that I made um, five or six years ago, Reflexology Fundamentals 1, 
And we also have another DVD that we just finished, Reflexology Fundamentals 2, which I will be selling today. Okay. And that we just got that done about two weeks ago. But I'm in the process of making um, about four or five orthoflexology videos, which will break down the body. In other words, I just taught a class on the ultimate low back and hip, orthoflexology, ultimate low back and hip. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be creating a video on that starting on July 16th of this year. Okay, cool. We also do have a foot chart that we offer, and I do have a website, orthoflexology.com, where we will offer these things through download, through hard copy, as well okay. as manual. Are you going to get into online education then too, you think? Um, or no? I, in all honesty, I probably, maybe at some time in the future when I, I'm in a wheelchair and I can't go around and do these public events, uh -huh. but my passion is live presentations. Yeah, I hands love, on. Hands yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> I love to entertain. I love to have fun. Yeah. I was a street performer. I played guitar and sang up in Vermont for a number of years, okay. years ago. <laughs> and so I like the live presentation aspect. I like to entertain. I like to pick people out of the audience and show how simply you can apply these manual therapy techniques. Okay, awesome. Yes. And then um, anything for the future then you're thinking? Yeah. Well, you know, my goal is to eventually uh, teach full time. Right now it's about 50-50. I'm working okay. about a 50% practice at 50% teaching. I've been a, a, a teaching assistant for James Wozlowski for eight or nine years. He's a world-class presenter. Yep. And uh, so he's, he's my mentor in a sense. He, he kind of inspired me to get into this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I can't say I wanted to do it at the level James does of traveling around the world, but I am hoping to get into places such as Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. I'm originally from Vermont, so I'm working on some venues up in Vermont. Okay. But I've, uh, most of my education has been exclusive to Florida. Okay. Yes. And the best way to get a hold of you is? Uh, I, I'd say the best way to get a hold of me is orthoflexology.com and there's a contact page on there which does have my phone number, mailing address, and of course an email. So that would be the best way to get a hold of okay. me. Okay. Great. Uh, nice meeting you, man. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for your time.